Hello all, welcome to another episode of Outdoor Experiences. Today we will be talking about the various ways a trapper can utilize their furs to get the most value out of their time and money. Before we get to the video, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel as it truly helps us out. Also, don't forget to like and share the video as well. The first and most obvious way to make money off of trapping is to sell hides. This is the way that most non-trappers expect trappers to make money. History class in Hollywood is full of the stereotypical mountain man carrying bundles of furs through the waist-deep snow to sell at an outpost. But for those of us trapping today, there is a bit more to it. There are typically two conditions in which to sell furs. One way is called selling green. This way is easy and only requires a person to skin the trapped animal and freeze the unfleshed pelt until a local buyer comes around to buy. The pros of this method is that the trapper saves time as they don't have to flesh or dry the furs. The cons to selling green are that a local buyer will buy the fur at a much lower price as more work has to be put into the furs after the sale. Also, a trapper has to find enough freezer space to keep the furs until selling, which sometimes could be months. The other way to sell furs is to dry and stretch the hides. This method takes time and money as stretching boards, fleshing beams, and other equipment is needed to dry and stretch furs. On the other hand, storing dried furs is much easier as they can be kept in a variety of containers at a much larger swing of temperature. Also, the price for dried fur is higher than green furs. Trappers need to be aware of the quality of their furs. Prime furs and interesting colored furs will sell at higher prices than normal furs. Abrasions and tears on the furs will also detract from fur prices. Be sure to make careful cuts and brush your furs to minimize tears. If a beginner trapper is afraid to start skinning and drying, try starting with cheaper and smaller animals such as raccoons and squirrels to practice the art of skinning. Once the trapper gets the hang of skinning, they can move up to more complex and expensive furs. There are other physical parts of the trapped animal that the trapper can sell. Glands can be sold from animals such as skunks and beavers. Trappers can use the glands to make their own trapping lures, which saves money as lures don't have to be bought from suppliers. Glands can also be sold to those trapping suppliers so that they themselves can make lures and sell to other trappers. Castor from beaver and skunk essence are the most common glands and can be sold for more money than their respective furs. Along the same lines, a trapper can use the meat from the animals they catch to make meat baits. You can preserve meat for baits by freezing or with salt, sodium benzoate, and methylparaben. Skulls can be sold for decoration or arts and crafts as well. Nature can take care of cleaning and whitening for you. This method saves effort, but can take a month or more. As shown in one of our previous videos, a trapper can use the boil slash crock pot method to clean skulls. This method takes only a few days, but needs some basic equipment. Also, carcasses themselves can be sold. Dog breeders or people with sled dogs will sometimes buy beaver or other carcasses to feed to their dogs. Another way to make money is to sell to live markets. There are live markets in some states, but not others. A person can sell animals live for training dogs and other purposes. Coyotes and fox are the most typical animals to sell live. An entrepreneurial way to make money is offering pest control services. Many people have raccoon and coyote problems at their residences. I have also seen opossums running amok in a person's home. Coyotes can easily kill cats and small dogs on their own, and a pack of coyotes can also take down larger pets. Trappers can put their name and phone number in a local paper and trap specific pests for a fee. Finally, trappers can tan the hides from the animals they trap and sell an end product. A full tanned hide can be used as decoration as wall hangers, in log cabins, or everyday homes. Raccoon furs can be turned into coonskin hats, but other animal furs can definitely be used to make hats as well. Gloves can be made from many furs as well. 
For example, the soft fur of muskrat can be used to line leather gloves. Every aspect of trapping that you sell decreases your per pelt cost. From the fur, the bones, the meat, to the service of trapping for other people. All aspects of trapping can be monetized. Not only is trapping a way to get into nature or a calming activity, trapping can also pay for itself. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to Outdoor Experiences and don't forget to like and share this video. If you like videos like these, please let us know in the comments. Feel free to ask questions in the comments as well, and we will do our best to answer. If you have any videos that you would like to see, let us know those as well. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.